We weren't sure quite what he was. Was he an architect? Was he a designer? Was he a filmmaker? But what he was, obviously, was something we all wanted to be. She made paintings out of what she was surrounded by. Everything she touched, she turned into something magical. For them, these names like painter and architect, they weren't job descriptions. They were ways of looking at the world. Modern design was born from the marriage of art and industry. The Eames office was born from the marriage of Ray Kaiser, a painter who rarely painted, and Charles Eames, an architecture school dropout who never got his license. They give shape to America's 20th century. And it all began with a chair. Had they just designed the furniture, they'd be in the Pantheon. It's the multifaceted nature of the career that is extraordinary. For four decades, 901 Washington Boulevard in Venice Beach, California, was one of the most creative addresses on Earth. Westinghouse, Boeing, and Polaroid all trusted the Eames office to solve their problems. They wanted to work for the Google of their time, and they did. They were introducing people to look at the world differently. Life was fun, was work, was fun, was life. Dozens of gifted young designers cut their teeth within the walls of the studio. I walk in the Eames office, and it was like walking into a circus. And I thought, I've come to work in Disneyland. It was a career that defined what it means to be a designer. Perhaps the greatest Eames design of all was the image of Charles and Ray. Together, they would become one of the great success stories of the post-war era.